Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I've already done a few videos focusing on Tyranids and going through how to paint my own custom scheme, but a few people have asked me to show some of the more traditional Games Workshop schemes. I've started here with High Fleet Behemoth. I decided to try and put my own spin on the scheme. I wanted to make the colours a little bit darker and more grounded. I feel that some of the box art schemes for Tyranids can be a little bit too cartoony. I started by priming the mini black and then giving it a light zenithal highlight from above using Wraithbone, keeping the recesses and the underside darker. Next I apply Flesh Terrace Red to all of the flesh areas, a nice even coat all over. No need to be too neat around the carapace as this will all be painted in black later and any red that spills over can easily be covered up. If you're enjoying the videos and want to help out supporting the channel then please hit the subscribe button, it will be a massive help to me and be hugely appreciated. Once the red was dry, I then filled in all of the carapace using Black Legion. I also painted in the claws, tongue and the feet with this as well. For the next step, I made a 50-50 mix of Nuln Oil and Carabao Crimson and gave all of the red a heavy wash with this to add some more definition and darken down the red even more. I then started to layer up the red. I first used my fist on red to carefully brighten up the red on the raised areas and the details. For now, I also left the garnet and added no extra red. I wanted this to have different colours from the rest of the model to keep it more distinct as it's meant to be a separate creature. The next step was to start to highlight the red. The first colour I used was Evil Sun Scarlet. I gave a quick edge highlight to the mini, keeping this to the raised parts along the edges of the muscles and picking out all of the details. Here he is once this highlight was complete. The final step for the red was using Wild Rider Red. I was quite sparing with this, just adding a little dot highlight to only the most prominent raised bits. I then gave the gun a coat all over using Thin Down Black Templar. This was about a 50-50 mix of Black Templar and Contrast Medium, but you could easily get away with just using water. All of the joints between the armour plates and the vent parts on the arms and legs got a thin coat of Screamer Pink. I then went over this again with a 50-50 mix of Screamer Pink and Bugman's Glow, keeping this towards the centre of them and leaving the Screamer Pink towards the edges. I finished these bits by adding a final layer of pure Bugman's Glow, putting some light thin lines down each of these joints to give the impression of muscle fibres. Next was the eyes. I went with a really bright green to contrast against the red. I started with a couple of thin coats of Warpstone Glow over the whole of the eye. After this I then gave a dot highlight of Moot Green in the centre of each of the eyes. Next the carapace needed some blue to complete the scheme. I started this with a layer of heavily thinned down Incubi Darkness. I dragged this over the plates back towards the edges, adding some scratchy lines over the black but keeping where the plates join the original colour. I did this on the claws and the feet too, again keeping the black showing where they joined onto the red body. I then repeated this process again but this time using Stegodon Scale Green. I have no idea why it's called that when it is clearly blue. This time I added a layer of it over the ink of my darkness, but leaving some of that layer showing to start to create a blend between the colours. The claws on the feet got the same treatment. I went back over all of the black areas with this, just adding quick thin lines of the paint. This is how he was looking at this stage. Next I did the same thing again, but this time using Temple Card Blue. Again, making sure to leave some of the previous layers showing. and then a final highlight of Baharoth blue. This was just dotted along the very edges of the plates just to finish it off. And here's the final carapace, so all the colours all blended together. Lastly, I painted the teeth in using Zandri dust. I then gave them a quick highlight using Screaming Skull. And here he is, all finished. I gave him a quick coat of matte varnish just to take the shine off and to help tie all of the colours together. 
I went with a desert themed base as the bright colours helped to contrast really well against the darker red and the blue. I'm really pleased with how it came out. I think a whole army painted like this will look really great on the table. I really hope that you've enjoyed the video and that it was helpful. If you decide to give it a try, make sure to tag me on Instagram, I'd love to see them. I've got some plans to follow this up with a few more of the Games Workshop schemes, so let me know in the comments if there's anything you'd like to see. As always, thank you so much to everybody who has helped to support the channel so far, and thank you all for watching. I'll see you all soon.